that this man playing the piano in this place was actually a really amazing sharpshooter and he'd lost his fingers in a rifle accident. Shot right off. That didn't stop him. Anyway, I drowned my sorrows for a couple weeks and eventually, hanging around, he asked me if I uh, cared to join him. So we did everything in the Mexican hit parade. A few people here and there would come in. We're all a bunch of us losers. And often in the night I would hear a sound, a woman's voice saying, Stella, Stella. I passed her by the latrines at night. She was on her way to feed the pigs in the middle of the night. <laughs> And the slop tripped over once. We laughed about it. She invited me back to her room. We smoked cigars all night and got really drunk on tequila. And she told me what she made out of a cigar box, a big base. She called it the doghouse. That's Sarah Mercia. So I tried to get to the bottom of it when we were both a little tipsy, a little drunk. Why, in the middle of the night, when she would get wasted, she'd be saying, Stella. Well, she finally told me her life story. It turns out that she was another one of the illegitimate daughters of Marlon Brando. <laughs> and I think... Mother Mercia is here tonight. I'm quite impressed with your rendezvous with Brando. I do want to hear all the details about that. I had to inform her that Brando had been dead for some time. She took it very well. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in New York, things were going a lot better for Orrin very in demand musician, playing with everybody. They were glad to have me out of the way and everybody was asking him to play. Even Barack Obama. <laughs> and as Orrin often does, he's got incredible hygiene. He was at the dentist having his teeth cleaned. dentist said, you know, I, I really love to be Facebook friends with you. And he said, oh, God. But he's the dentist and he's doing his job and he kind of had to go along with it. Sure enough, they became Facebook friends. And the doctor sent him a video and said, by the way, I just do this as a hobby. It's kind of fun for me. I like to play the drums. <laughs> doctor. Kenneth Salters. So I finally got back into writing songs in Los Olvidados. I'd write them on little scraps of paper and put them in bottles. And they would sail back to New York and Orrin would pick up the bottles, find my little scraps until we had a bunch of songs. And one day our friend Antoine, our sound man extraordinaire, said, don't you have a record there? I said, yeah, but we just like to write songs and make records, but we never like to put them out. He said, well, I'm going to give it to my friends at Vicious Circle. And he said, damn it, we need to have this right away. They put it out and they sent first class tickets for all three of us from Mexico. Chris Vadalaro, Sarah Mercia. And Lawrence 
Shore, Dr. Ken Saltons, for my next breakdown. <laughs>